I'll tell you about a time that, well, I'll just talk. So, one of the biggest problems that we had when we first opened the restaurant is that we had a whole slew of ass and so people were, you know, themselves slipping and falling it was it was just a bad situation our insurance agent approached me and said we won't you anymore um, either way your costs are likely gonna skyrocket if you can't get this under control so I worked with them very closely to develop um, a policy and plan for you know better integrating it into our, our I talked with with my boss about you know why this was important how it was going to affect our ability to control our and on top of that, built a case for how workplace injuries were causing absenteeism, which were driving up our overtime. Um, so, you know, financially built a case for why was really important. <laughs> no, I haven't ever fought a boss, um, physically or emotionally. <laughs> I wish I was drunk right now. Cheers. That's good stuff. Yeah, so I was at Amazon over the summer. Uh, Amazon was good. I didn't end up lying under my desk at all, which was great. Uh, a lot of people do. My boss was kind of an asshole. <laughs> the breadth of the wasn't really something that jived with me. The size of the, the was was a little bigger than than I would have preferred. I taught people how to. One of them did not really know how to, and the other one was very good at um, but was afraid so I kind of leveraged both of their strengths and had the one who could do all of the demonstrations while he was kind of gaining confidence from the other one putting them into situations where they could learn from each other and not feel like they were something because they were able to give something to someone else One of the things that I did on my ship was I ran the land attack warfare program. And what this means is there's a gun on the ship and it shoots uh, projectiles at land. We spent uh, multiple hours uh, working with other to make sure that our proficiencies were benchmarked. So I ran a team of 12 that uh, ultimately you know, conducted this warfare area. We actually got the second highest score that the Navy has ever received for bombardment. And I think I play into that narrative um, well. I'm English. I come from the north of England. Grew up in an industrial town. Lots of m***ing as a kid. I like to do other stuff, but I don't want it on record. Um, because I wanted the practical of the immersion before going into my internship. And it's helped somebody like me who's a switcher with no skills whatsoever. Um, you know, during my internship. I adopted the motto Bruce. I was working on d You know, we do all this at school and it's good practice, but there's no substitute for actually and then seeing its direct impact in the real world, whether it's in news releases or whatever else. Not exactly proud of it in hindsight. That was what I would call a fake. By the way, I'm not Australian, I just want to get that on record. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but it's bad. <laughs> it sure is.